Hello and welcome back to Father's Frontier. My name is Spange. Now, uh, many of you have played the game when you've played the game and you've got yourselves far beyond where I've got to during this Let's Play already. So you kind of already know what's coming up. But those of you that have done that have realized there are some problems with the game. It is still very much in early access and the developers are aware of those issues, or at least I suppose most of them. Um, and those issues sort of mostly uh, sort of go around uh, resource shortages in later game, and that could be uh, shortages of wood, but most commonly it's stone. Um, so, you know, people are running out of stone and finding the only way that they can get stone later in game is to actually buy it from the trade post, which obviously requires, um, you know, the traders to actually come along with some stone to buy. So, even though the developers don't actually support modding, Ain't nothing gonna stop the modders, and the modders have already been on it, and there are already some mods available. I've had a quick look. I just picked up three that I find uh, uh, quite useful, especially in regards to the problems that I was just talking about. So, as always, I'll link the three mods that I've picked up uh, down below in the video description. There are more mods there as well. They're all on uh, Nexus and uh, other places you can get them. Uh, the first one is just very simply a camera mod, right? So... It, you can get much higher panoramic views of your settlement and the surrounding area with this very simple camera mod. You can also go in much closer to the ground as well. There are some glitchiness to it, so if you keep scrolling in, it does that. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's a small price to pay for being able to get so quite close and personal to your villagers. Look at the bees. I can actually see the bees. That's cool. Don't get stung, you dumbass. Oh, I'll do. Whatever. I'm not your boss. Um, yeah, so that's quite a nice one. That's just a nice little visual so you can get very up on high. Look at that. It's pretty good. And the detail stays through as well. So quite happy with that. Very, very nice. Uh, so that's just the camera mod. Very simply activated and deactivated with the backspace key once it's installed. All the installation instructions for these mods are with the mods. So just follow what they say and how to install them and you can go. Now, the other mod I've got is a mineral spawner. And it, as the name suggests, it's very much just spawns minerals in, right? So if you are at the stage of the game where... Um, well, you kind of run out of stuff. Um, <laughs> you can... Or maybe you'd like to play a sort of more creative-esque style game where you want to build the perfect city. Uh, so what you do is, I think... I haven't actually tested this yet. I should have probably done that, shouldn't I? Let's spawn a clay site here. So... There we go. Control L. And we have a clay site. Bingo. Look at that. And that's all it does. So you can just go around and plop sort of sites and stuff around. Now, the mineral spawner at the moment uh, doesn't seem to actually do rock. <laughs> so that whole point I made about running out of stone is kind of mute right now. But uh, if you can spawn a few extra clay sites and then get your potters doing their thing, then you can sell pottery and buy the stone a lot more reliably and everything's good. The last one I picked up was an animal spawner. Uh, so again, it works very, very similar. So if I spawn, I'm going to spawn a wolf here. There he is, and I spawned a wolf there because already the towers are just going to kill him and he's not going to do any harm, just to demonstrate. So F1, 2, 3, and 4, you can spawn in deer, boar, wolves, and bears. Uh, so I, I saw you, some people were using the mod to create little kind of enclosures. So they build like a walled area or, or a fenced area, and then they just spawn a couple of deer in there, and then you'd have like, you know, almost like a deer farm, I suppose, with a couple of hunters and stuff like that. So really these mods are all about just trying to overcome a few of the shortcomings that the game has at the moment with sort of end game resources. Because the city, once it gets to sort of 300 plus people and you're up to tier three and everything's upgrading and things like that, it becomes really, really difficult to continue finding stone. Uh, food becomes an issue, even if you have a bunch of farms pumping out food and stuff like that. So these little extra mods are a nice quality of life things. Or like I said, if you want to just create the perfect city in a little bit more of a creative mode. Um, they do exist. They do exist already. So as I said, the links to those are down below in the video description. Uh, follow the instructions for installation. And bear in mind that when the developers bring their next update out, which um, I don't know when that's going to be, but you know, whenever they do, uh, those mods will stop, probably stop working. And like I said, they are aware of issues like stone, and I think they are introducing things like quarries and stuff like that to address um, those issues of sort of late game uh, resource shortages and stuff like that. So 
these mods are very much kind of like a little temporary workaround, I suppose, to those issues. Anyway, welcome back to Arkham, our town here in Farthest Frontier. Now, at the moment, I'm very much concentrating on trying to get some walls up. Uh, so, because we keep getting raided, and we keep getting raided from this direction, which is nice because it means I only have to put like one set of walls up. Because this direction, it seems to be um, all waterways, at least until I think you get to the mountains and stuff. I don't think the raiders are going to come across the mountains. Saying that, they'll probably change their tactics now that I built a wall and come over the mountains. So, <laughs> trying to trying to get some walls up. I'm trying to get some soldiers as well, but the gold situation is a bit desperate. Now, traders have just left. I'd already um, sort of given them an, what I need, but I'm going to have to move most of my gold over to the town in order to continue to pay for soldiers and stuff, because it's right. If you don't pay them, then they leave and they get angry and they leave and they, and they do things. Why have you not caught those rats yet, Mr. Rat Trapper? Unable to work. Oh, well done. You just literally did it. Sorry, I pointed you out and called you out like that. You probably... That's embarrassing for me, not for you. Don't worry about it. Uh, okay, so yeah, we got some soldiers in towers and stuff. But I don't actually have any soldiers here because... Well, you know, I don't really have much in the way of weapons and armor. <laughs> so I have soldiers that have no armor, a bow and arrow. That's all they'd have. Um, so it's really kind of... I don't know why I'm on the planning tool. I really wanted to buy some armor and some swords and stuff. Uh, despite the fact that we have actually got a tier 3 town hall now. As was the whole point of the last episode. And we are starting to actually get some iron out of the ground. And I have requested the build. Oh, here it is. The Foundry. Oh, yeah. He has got some coal. He has got some iron. And I'm hoping he produces some freaking iron ore. And maybe we can get an armorer and actually start building the weapons and armor that I need for my soldiers. That would be nice. There is, as far as I can tell, no gold uh, up around here. But then there is still quite a bit of map to explore. So maybe there's some gold out in there in those there hills. I don't know. Um, but yeah, up here, here at Farmer's land i think these fields are doing reasonably well their fertility needs to go up now with the fields and stuff what i found is that is if you you plant more of the beans and the peas basically if you do clovers beans and peas and then a crop of rye or wheat or whatever then you should have positive fertility growth and weed suppression throughout the year but basically wheat beans and peas they count as food and they last quite long you don't get as much food out of them, but, you know, it still counts. And you're adding fertility for, the, for that wheat harvest. Now, I was having some problem with the cows as well. The cows were not milking, and they were not slaughtering when they reached the herd size. And what it was is I had a wall across the front of the barn there. You notice how I've now destroyed that wall. And I had a gate there, and I figured they'd just use the gate, but no. Um, we needed to get rid of that wall. Now, they are producing milk. They are producing meat and tallow and, and hides. It's wonderful. It's fantastic. Literally, cows are the best thing ever. And when winter comes, they now go inside instead of sitting out and freezing to death. Like they're going in for a, a milking right now. So I've got a herd size of 10, I believe. Uh, yeah, 10 herd size, which seems to be quite good because it means I get about two cows a year uh, that are born. And then obviously two cows get slaughtered after that. And then we get lots of meat and stuff out of that. Um, in terms of everything else, everything else is fine. We have seven months or six months, sorry, of food, about five months of spoilage. Our population is sat at around 216, 209 of, of 16, sorry. Um, and, and everything seems to be working okay. It's just that kind of little bit of growing pains that we have now between, you know, getting this population this high and actually being able to defend the town. <laughs> Slowly but surely, these guys are building this wall. So, hopefully... I don't know how far around I need to make it. I'm going to make it up to the road over there, I think. But we will see next time uh, we get attacked how effective this wall is, how effective these towers are, and hopefully the barracks as well once we actually get a soldier. So now it's just a case of waiting for... Oh, look, he's done it. He has produced some iron. Excellent. Shall we build, then, a armorer? Now, this, I believe, is actually a Tier 2 building, the armory, because, obviously, you can trade for the iron and, and coal and stuff this guy builds um the armor 
And then I think we've got a blacksmith that builds the weapons. Yeah, there they are. Very good. The weapons. And we need a brickyard as well. Lots of stuff. That guy requires 250 gold. Wow. That guy requires 300 gold. Oh, what the hell, dude? These are getting really expensive now. Oh, we do need a brewery in. A furniture shop I'm not too wor worried about. We need a glassmaker, but he needs a bricky. Yeah, this tier three business is, uh, is quite a lot. Right, so let's start with weapons. I think the blacksmith forge should be number one on our priority. So we're going to slap him right there opposite the foundry. Those two are going to... What is that? Did that... Oh, that's what happened to that freaking lookout tower. <laughs> Sorry, what happened to that? It got blown up. It got really blown up. Blacksmith forge then. Slap that right there. And off you go. Can you build that, please? I feel like we're going to get attacked any moment now. It is about time. But uh, otherwise, our happiness is good. Our happiness is good. Villages are good. And, uh, you know, with our camera mod now, we can pretty much see the entire town in one go. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. I think if um, if it does come down to us running out of food, like for the hunter... Oh, he can upgrade, can he? Do I need to upgrade him? I'm worried about upsetting the balance. Balance is important, as you know. See, if I upgrade him, will we murder off the entire thing? I think I'm going to upgrade him because I want to see what an upgraded hunter house looks like. I do not have automatic upgrades on. I don't want to put automatic upgrades on because I feel like... There's a freaking rat! Get him! Get him! What are you doing? Rat catcher! You're going the wrong way! You're an eejit! Maybe someone else got him. I don't know. The rat icon has gone, so let's say what it's got. Yeah, rats! Rats are being a thing. I have rat catchers surrounding the various food storage locations around town. Um, but still, we have we have rats. We have rats. There's a rat inside that. Catching rats. Go. Well done, Mayani. Mayani caught a rat. We need cats. What we need is we need cats. Can somebody bring some cats over? We just have loads of cats running around. We need to get the rats. Villager succumbed to illness. Uh, forager died of dehydration. Like, there's not any wells in the town. It's like, don't blame me. We're not going to one of the many available wells and getting yourself some water. You dumbass. Also, I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, you died out there. Yeah, actually, do you know what? <laughs> I don't think there's a well out here, is there? <laughs> I take it back. My bad. <laughs> I'll, build you a well. I'll build you a well. There we go. I just didn't think that a well was required out here, but clearly I'm an idiot. Prioritize, please. These workers out here need a well. So what out, out here, this is new as well. We have temporary shower. Uh, we have a stockyard with clay and stuff. We have a clay pit and a sand pit. Need both of them in order to make bricks and stuff. And then um, we could probably get... Because there's a nice big forest here. We have a forager. We had a forager. She died of dehydration. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. That's that's cruel. It's cruel. It's not fair. These guys are unable to work, unable to work, unable to work. All right, we'll switch your priority over there then. Chopping trees, thank you. Got to keep an eye on these work camps because they will just sit there and complain they can't do anything rather than actually thinking for themselves. Oh, hello. We have rats here as well, but I have a rat catcher right here. Seeking food. Catch the rats. Can you catch the rats instead of the seeking the food, please? Deal with them. See, hey, for so long, we didn't have any issue with rats. Until we hit tier 3, and then suddenly the rats appeared. And it's like, oh, right, okay. <laughs> I don't know why they just did. All of a sudden, we've got rats. Okay, so my armory is uh, my, my armory is building. My, my blacksmith forge, I say, is building. It's lovely. It's getting there. Also, somehow, these carts and people are able to traverse that gradient of slope. <laughs> it was crazy. I saw them just coming up here. I didn't even have a road there. And I was like, oh, okay. I guess the road I built around the nice easy slope up there is a bit redundant because they just like, yeah, they cut the near vertical one. All good. Fair enough. Can't really argue with that. You know? <laughs> Off they go. Lovely. Right. So, yeah, we just got to wait for this thing to be set up and build some weapons. And I think we can then recruit some soldiers and hopefully pay for them. Although we do. Jesus, we're going through the gold. Yeah, I'm going through the gold so fast. Um. We have stopped the 
trade post up is stock is looking reasonably good um so hopefully we can sell some of that and make lots and lots of money pottery i have found is the absolute don of making money you can get some pottery going um let's actually add another two potters then you can make a lot of money assuming that of course the, the person coming to buy the pots and whatnot um are, are buying them at a reasonable price but yeah Ugh, now we just wait until we get attacked. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I think it's about time we added a pub. So, we've got a brewery now. Look at that. Love that. The models in this, the, the assets in this game are so nice. Really, really good. Uh, so we can actually make a brewery. Not too bad, actually. Only 15 stone to make one. It's just now, it's a case of where the smeg do I put the damn thing? <laughs> um... There is not a great deal of room in the center of town here. And obviously I'd want to have it so it, it, it affects as many houses in desirability as possible. I'm thinking maybe there. You know, maybe turn it around. Because that will that will hit up a lot of houses. The, um, the problem with that is it's obviously not very central, is it? Where the market is would be ideals. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's destiny. The absolute... <laughs> Oh my god! I totally planned that. I mean, I totally planned that. I saw that coming. I knew exactly how big the brewery was, and I knew it would fit exactly in that space right there. That was all big brain planning. <laughs> it was not absolutely luck whatsoever. This is the thing when you get around to this sort of stage of the game. You get all these newfangled fancy pants buildings. Um, like the theatre as well. The theatre. A thousand is the theatre. Holy moly, look at the size of this thing. Look at it. It, it covers a huge area as well. Wow. We could have a theatre instead of that, that crop field there. Oh, yeah. It's a monster of a building. Okay. Well, that's probably going to come later. Let's not worry about that right now. I feel like we're a little away from a theatre. A thousand gold for a theatre. What's this thing? Why is it locked? Apothecary. Um, I don't see what it requires because it, it kind of hangs off the bottom of the screen. <laughs> requires a hospital. Is a hospital? We can have a hospital? I don't see no hospital. Healer's house. Oh! Is the healer's house the hospital? Does that upgrade to a hospital? Oh my god. Upgrade. Requires bricks. Of course it requires bricks. Everything requires bricks. I need a bricky. I definitely need a bricky. Okay. Um, resources. Bricky dude. So he requires coal and clay to run. Damn, we're going to need some a lot of coal dudes. We're gonna need serious amounts of coal. Look at this! Look at this freaking dude. He's a monster. He's sick of here. He's not lowering desirability too much, so that's good. This is properly my shithole corner, right? <laughs> this is where all the crap goes. All right. So we'll have a bricky. We are gonna need more, a lot more coal, and I think I'm starting to wonder now with the work camp. If I put a work camp down here to chop all these trees and whatnot, then maybe I can have enough logs to get a charcoal kiln, which produces coal. No, it produces charcoal, but you know, in the game, as far as it's concerned, it's coal. So, we could try that. 30 stone. Damn, man. Damn with a stone. My god. We have got a work camp up here. These guys are supposed to be mining stone but they are currently seeking shelter they produce 85 stone at the moment there are more stone than not so let's move their little work sphere so it actually covers because there's quite a lot of rocks up here which i like anyway welcome to winter it is a cold winter see my cows the weather has become too cold for livestock to be outdoors and it's good to see they are all indoors excellent we have firewood pouring out our towns, chimneys are all active. Everybody is warm and comfortable. This is what I like to see. Lovely stuff. We're doing good. We are doing well. Um, I just hope we continue to do well when we get attacked by raiders. Look how much gold! I had like 900 gold! 97! Well, the winter's nearly over. I'm just hoping the traders that turn up, they turn up with lots of cash and they want to buy everything that I've got because of the way I'm screwed! Well, that's just freaking disturbing is what that is. That ain't right. That ain't right. 
<laughs> it's a pull me pull ya. Push me pull ya, freaking cows. Okay, Drader 2 has arrived. What have you got, my dear fellow? You don't want anything good. You bastard. You want swords and stuff. Wow, you're really not offering very good prices either, are you? You are basically just a jackass right now. Ah, sucks. Okay, we can have the honey. Fine. 80 gold. Don't even bother next time. What a waste. What a waste. Unbelievable. Tools and swords and... Yeah, I mean, I, I sold the, the jackets already, but I sold them at a better price. He is selling, then, some basic weapons, tallow, soap, um, clay, uh, smoked meat, crossbows and the... Crossbows could be fun, I guess. Sure. Um, <laughs> I don't know what we'd use them for. <laughs> Why don't you buy pottery, you bastard? See, this is the problem half the time. You like you specialize or spec into like pottery or something like that, and um, they don't want. They're not interested. They're not interested in it. Right. So I'm going to transfer that stone back. Stone is such a valuable commodity that we're going to take it out of the trade post. You will not see it in there ever again. Swines! Okay. Um, Hunter hasn't found any prey in a while. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Found some! Dumbass! Raiders are attacking. Okay. Where? Holy moly! Oh, they're coming from the area that I really didn't want them to come from. Jesus Christ! How many are there? 38 raiders sighted! Oh, Aya, get away, get away, Aya. Oh, you sons of bitches. Um, we're just going to have to hire some soldiers to, to deal with this, because, oh my lord, look at this! Huh, I don't have really any... Not that level. That's a crazy number. Jeez, I don't know what to do. That's a... that's... What? Come over here. Um, we're just gonna have to, like, recruit. 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 That's a bit of wall. So they're just straight up attacking this wall down here. Um, we need to set the combat area over here. Because they're going to breach through that wall very quickly. Because it's only a, 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 a standard wall. Oh my lord. I don't think I'm going to get villagers armed and ready quick enough. They're just going to break through that so fast. Alright, they're at the gates as well. Um, let's get everybody inside, shall we? Alright, here's my hunter. There's one hunter. Get on it. Get on it, hunter. <laughs> Geldrin is legging it. Oh, my hunter is gonna die. Run, Beric! Run, Beric! Don't, don't be a hero, Beric! Beric, no! Oh, shit. This is a big freaking attack. They're in. They're in the town. They're in. They're just they're murdering people. They're murdering everyone. They're attacking the traders. They're attacking the trade posts. They're going to raid. Not much gold in there, but they're going to raid the gold. There's a thief. He's running in. They're going to steal so much stuff. This is a huge freaking huge attack right now. There goes a tower. There's a breach in the wall. I don't even I don't even know right now. They're retreating. They're retreating. They've got what they need. They're legging it. They've taken so much stuff. I've got one tower up and running. Garrisoning. Come on out. Come on and kill them. Just stand in the way and stop them from attacking. Or stop them from leading. They're legging it. They're like, we're, we've got what we came for. Ah, oh, 31 Raiders sighted. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, is that the same attack? Look at this. Shoot the thieves. 
Shoot the thieves! The thieves! Get the thieves! Care about the brawlers! The brawlers don't have anything, they're just there to kill people. Go on, go on, go on. Ah, oh, man. Get that thief, get that thief, get that thief. Good shot, good shot, good shot. Got him! Small victories! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they did so much damage. Um, We're out of gold. We're out of gold as well. Bang, they stole all the gold. So they stole 996 gold. 140 smoked fish. Beer, pottery, meat. They killed one of my villagers, destroyed 11 buildings, that includes walls. And only 11 of, them, 11 of them were killed this time. Ah! The savagery! What am I going to do? You guys need to just concentrate solely on rocks. None of this seeking food rubbish. I don't care about your food needs. Rocks. We need stone. Lots of stone. I need to find gold. I need to find gold. If I don't get a gold camp or something up and running... Um... Can you explore, like, over here? I don't know what the mountain ranges over here have got in. Crops lost to heat stress. What crops would be heat stressed? Turnips. Why did I put turnips there and not... There, you moron. They should be the, the other way round. Stupid boy. This guy. I can't find any deer. Oh, my God. Just... Who there. Ugh. This is, a, this is a heavy, heavy defeat. Heavy defeat. Brutal. Guess we'll rebuild the uh, walls. Until I get a big stock of friggin' rock stone. This is just ridiculous. Okay. Oh my freaking god. I have some of a stone wall. 41 raiders. 41. Could I defend against 38? No! 41! Okay, sure. I have a bit of a stone wall. I have two towers on that wall now. Each with two dudes garrison and in inning. But come on! Are you freaking kidding me right now? I can't defend against this. this. is ridiculous. They're going to come straight for this gate, which I have just started upgrading, by the way. Right. I have some soldiers. So we're going to... Battle zone is there, I'm guessing, because they're probably going to break through the gates before they break through the wall. Command towers. I assume that towers having more than one person in would fire twice as many arrows, but I'm guessing that one person isn't actually... Second person hasn't actually arrived at the tower yet. Alright, how long do these walls last? Because that's a lot of dudes up against the walls right now. Can I check their, like, health? Okay. They're going to last a little bit of time. I've got soldiers. The soldiers are attacking. Yes, soldiers. Yes. Kill them all. Kill them all. Yes. I think I lost a soldier. I mean, it was inevitable. That's what they're paid for, right? Get him! Sick him! Get him! Right, battle zone has been redrawn. Is now here. I got, I got lost three of my soldiers. Okay, guys, you need to come out. Can I tell you to come out? Let's pause this a second. You. I'm out. You go over here. <laughs> this is this is the love. Drunk drinking wheat beer. You no. Come over here. No time for beer. Daisy bastard. Jenna. You come over here. Arjun. Arjun over here as well. Right. Yeah. Everybody over here. Like the towers need to be like manually controlled and stuff. Stuff. And then. The barracks is the only one where you can actually tell them to, well, actually get on with something. Right, you come over here as well. Right, can we, can we unpause now? Moment. 
we haven't lost the wall and the tower is slowly chipping away at them these walls are about half health now so I want all my defenders ready here they are here they are no 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 don't, 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 just stay there stay there stay there all right this game is anything but a freaking combat combat battle RTS I tell you <laughs> It's, uh, they're, they're, they're wanting to attack. In fairness, they are wanting to attack. Alright. Can actually, one of them was going to garrison. Where are you going? No! No beer for you! Stop trying to get beer! My freaking hunters are on it, though. Yes. Right, yeah, go on, then. Go on, then. Let's attack. Get over here. Let's go. How much health have these things got? Oh, that one's about to go. We've got two dudes in here now. They're firing arrows. Two arrows out. Yes! Kill them! Get them! Sick him. They're through the walls! Ring the bell! I knew I should have stayed there. Can you deal with these guys? Can you attack? Garrison, can you attack? Oh, they're all running away. They're running away. No, 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 no. Kill them. Don't let them get away. Don't, don't, no. Nah, you don't just let them run away. Come on! Kill them. Sounds harsh. But they started this war. Hey, Helene. Helene. You... Helene's still alive! <laughs> Look, she is absolutely... What a buxom babe. Still going for it. She is wanting blood. Yes. Soldiers. That taught you, didn't it? Yeah! 41 of you bastards coming over here thinking you're all that. There goes another one. Yeah? You want to come back? Try it. Try it. You bastards. I'll get you. Do these guys get rebuilt, repaired and stuff? Because look at that, health. <laughs> uh, I, I see no option to rebuild them. Food stocks are low. What? Alright, we can un-garrison the town now. Get back to work, you lot! Everything's fine. Yes, we defended! We defended the wall Eldish. And, um... I'm hoping, I'm hoping that gets repaired. I'm hoping that gets repaired. If it doesn't get repaired, I don't know what to do. Right, return to barracks, you lot. Everybody else, back to your back to your towers. Your bits and bobs. They are repairing they are repairing buildings, look. It's okay, I think they do repair the walls. We're gonna need to repair those walls. <laughs> they come back again. My god. Um well, I could probably save a bit of money now by reducing the garrison a bit. Because it's gonna be at least a year before we get attacked again, right? Right. To be fair, the attacks come when they come. There doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to them, like yearly based or anything like that. They just happen when they happen. But Whew. forty-one raiders repelled uh, successfully. You got no rocks. All right here we go. Village was raided. Forty-one raiders. Raiders killed twenty-five. Villagers killed four. Those are my soldiers, my brave, brave soldiers. Buildings destroyed two, two bits of wall. Items pillaged, zero. Zero! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Um, well, there are rocks scattered around. This is These are my dramas right now, is stone. I've got my work camp. I moved my work camp from over here, because they were doing nothing. And I've moved them down here, so they can chop down this big chopper forest here. And uh, there's loads of resources scattered around all over here, be it like bushes with greens and stuff like that for the for this chappy to harvest. Or clay and sand and so on and so forth. So yeah, this clay mine ran out. So I moved it to the one that I placed using the mod. Nothing to see here. Everything's fine. Nothing to see here. <laughs> you saw nothing? <laughs> uh, this guy's run out of stone as well. Yeah, they run out of stone. Oh my god. Bad. The stone sitch is bad. You all warned me. You all said, Spanish, don't sell your stone. Don't sell the stone. Literally the hardest material. What you can do, is with, especially with this mod, is you can set your harvest to just stones. And then what I do is I just do big sweeping things just over the entire area. Just give me stone. Just find and hack away all the stone everywhere. You know, because there's loads of it up here. Look at that. Look at that. All that stone. Get that stone. Get it. It's quite far outside of the town, but you know, <laughs> they will go and get it eventually. All right. 
There we go. Raider attack repelled. The town lives on. Bricks of bricking. Armory dude is making swords and tools and such. You probably want maybe, I don't know, uh, three tools to two to one heavy, I would say. I don't know. At this point, I don't know. I'm guessing. Uh, anyway, food stocks were low. That was a bit of a bizarre one. We're getting cheese now. I installed a cheese maker. He's up here making cheese. What an absolute beast. So along with my brewery, he's making brewed things. The cheese maker is turning that milk into cheese. I've placed another market here as well to serve these guys up here. These guys are complaining they don't have a well nearby. So let's sort that out, shall we, before they start getting like this. Um, well, in the middle of town. There we go. So we have like three kind of distinct sort of areas. We have this area up here. We got these guys here. And um, down here, we got these guys here. Uh, what is with the food stocks, dudes? Okay. I think it's time I take advantage of the coastline a little bit more and set up some extra fisheries to, 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 to fish. With the fish and the fish and, you know, stuff. These guys want upgrades, though. Tempting. Let's say 250 gold, though. Yikes! We did actually upgrade a, a dude down here, look. He is upgraded and, uh... What? I don't understand. He has produced traps. Okay, so carcasses, iron, small carcasses, and boar carcasses. Work rate is just down, though. So he's using traps? Oh, I see. Okay. So they use traps to, instead of necessarily going out with a bow and arrow and stuff. Right. Fair enough. All right, cool. Oh, there we go. I want to upgrade these guys, though, but I don't think these guys get upgraded. No, they do not. All right, there we go. Uh, so we're going to try and upgrade the walls a bit more, but stone is so sparse at the moment, it's making it difficult. Um, otherwise, we're sort of now producing weapons and such, and a case of just basically getting through each year, trading what we can trade to make the gold to pay for the soldiers to defend the town from the hordes of barbarian bastards trying to battle down my bloody walls. Oh, look what I just saw. <gasps> you beautiful boy. Firewood is low! My god! Three freaking firewood choppers and he's still running out of firewood. I think it's fine. I think it's basically because everybody has just run to go and get firewood. So to restock everything. So this guy can be upgraded apparently. Stone and planks. Do it. Why not? We'll upgrade our barn. I have upgraded or in the process of upgrading the market, the main one, the center one, and our trade hub. Now if I upgrade the trade hub, apparently we get better traders. We'll see. We'll see, but I figure better traders, more money, more money, more money, more money, more money. Good news is these guys are repairing these walls, so they are back to full strength. And if we get another raider attack, I say if, when we get another raider attack, uh, we should be able to hold them there for a while, some more as again. But this, this is good news. This is very good news. We're going to have to extend the road down to this point and uh, possibly create another shelter because that is a freaking gold deposit oh yes you are exploring in this time i set that exploration marker like ages ago and you only just got to it fair enough get it get home because uh, wolves i hear wolves this is three times speed this is the way to play <laughs> as long as you trust your systems that you put in place to deal with things at the moment yeah, food, variety and stuff is looking a little bit cheap. They use grumpy bastards. I give them cheese now. And they're like, ooh, we, uh, we, we are not happy with our food stuff. There's a nice big chunk of rocks. And here's another mountain. Year number 20, two villagers immigrated. Livestock animal born, new villagers born. It's all good news. It's all good news. Let's get these buildings upgraded then, people. Get that firewood stocks re restocked. Get the stone stocks back up. Got two new fields over here looking lovely, looking delightful. You are not doing anything. You're foraging willow. Good, because we need baskets. That's two more bricks for this chappy, and he is upgraded. 28 for the tradey thing. I'm assuming the tradey thing can still operate while it's being upgraded. Oh no, it's just a build site. We're going to miss out on some traders. We're going to miss out on a whole year of traders. That. Hopefully, you know, when the build site is done, they should come anyway, shouldn't they? What the hell's going on up here? 
Get away from my crops. This is I put these fields here. I put fences around them immediately, knowing that they would come waltzing around to try and get... Look at them. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> you put a trap there. Location tag not found. Oh. That's quite funny. I like that. Trap set. Oh, look. We have got a trader. I want to... Traveling. Tra oh, thank God I can still select it. Okay, fine. Whew, it still works as a trading post, even though it's under construction. That's excellent. This chap here, Beldar the Peddler. This is uh, this is mostly what this game is about at this stage. <laughs> this really is <laughs> trading. Um, okay, so I can sell him some some uh, hide coats, four hundred forty gold. I'll sell him some wood because uh, that seems to be pretty abundant for me at the moment i'll send him some soap that is a little bit dodgy the soap situation is a little dodgy we're going to transfer that to the town because we're going to need that to pay for soldiers all right there we go we've got 1100 gold sat there we are going to need a vault as soon as we start mining that gold otherwise we're going to start getting thieves among our own population thieves those bastards all right, the road has been extended. Oh, there's a beautiful iron mine down here as well. Foraging, 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 and hunting. Fantastic. We can build a whole other town down here. By the looks of it, it's getting that way. Right, why are you not making bricks faster? It's fine, I think. Villager slain! Hold up. Nine villagers attacked by predators. What is going on? Gathering fish. Everything's moved on now, isn't it? Villager slain. I'm guessing... Uh, did the villager... Oh my god, two of them got slain. What is going on? Did they get killed by the boars? Or the traps? Do the traps kill the villagers? Because if that's the case, that's just insane. My graveyard is filling up here. Two villagers were felled in combat as they carried out their duties to the town. Those who knew them will mourn the loss. Explain! Explain the deaths. Another another slot in the graveyard. This bastard here. This is it. This is the one. Look. Up he goes. Where's the freaking hunter? You. What are you doing all the way over there? Come. Kill this boar. Kill this son of a bastard. Killed our villagers. Get him. Micromanagement, honestly. All right. Wait, he's run away. I can't find any animals. Big, what the... What the... What? What? Honestly, I don't even know right now. I don't know where I am. Just... Just stop it. Hey, look! Our trader is now... Look at that. Look at the market. Still looks amazing now. That's fantastic. Bread. And, and pottery and vegetables and meats and stuff. All on sale at the market. That's wonderful. I love that. And then, of course, we got our pub. Yes. Pub can't be upgraded. That's disappointing. Like, that can't be upgraded either. Candle shop. All that. It's interesting what can be upgraded and what can't be. It's kind of weird. Okay. Well. Get to hunting, you, you rubbish person. Rubbish. Shelter stocking. Of course you are. All right. Well, um... 15 more bricks and we get that dude upgraded I think to be honest we've got 96 stone now so we should probably get the last of these walls sorted out this is properly like the kill zone right here between the two towers yes get these upgraded it's kind of a little bit annoying that you have to select each wall individually to get them upgraded but you know it is what it is I guess All right, we'll start with that we'll see how you get on with that bit then uh, if we do get attacked which we should, will probably get attacked any moment now. I'm guessing they're going to come from the same direction, but honestly, I don't know. It's such a difficult one to gauge, you know? Where are they going to come from? Who knows? But the town is looking dope. We're getting there. And I, I'm thinking about getting another pub. I'm just thinking, like, resources. We have 246 beers in storage. Uh, that's a house. Where's the pub? There it is. Like, there's 30 or 50 in that pub. It can only carry 50. Now, some of them I put into the trade station because actually it's quite they're quite a good money maker. But I think we can possibly get another pub. 
there. <laughs> right by the market. Yes! Pub. Pub number two. Except I won't be able to have a road up to it. We can just get to it from within the market though, yeah? <laughs> that will still work, right? <laughs> this is the thing I don't know. Because sometimes you can... Um, can I clear... I want to clear that road. Clear. Clear the road. Um, sometimes you have buildings that you can get in and out of regardless of where they kind of are and then other times they need clear access like the barn over there you know anyway new pub these guys can get drunk everything everything is good everybody's happy we've got a new fishy dude up here we've got a new uh, forager i'm gonna move your thing over that way oh and uh we've got some fertilizer ready to go onto some crops you're down at 48%. You're down at 44%. Jesus, what is wrong with you? Got you as well. You're ready to go on 52, 52, 49, 48. 48 wins. All right. There we go. It's coming along nicely. We're starting to get some building upgrade. We're starting to get some freaking walls. Now, to upgrade these towers, they cost 100 gold each, plus 10 iron, 25 stone. Yes, man, stone is the real bitch, I tell you. So let's see if we can get about um, making our gold mine down here. We're going to need another temporary shelter, I think. Housing. Temp shelter. Down here. This place is like resource central. This is resources gold mine. Yes. Bingo. And we can have an iron mine down here as well. Why not? Finally, we might actually start producing our own gold other than from pub sales, market sales, and the traders. If we can actually start smelting gold, then we can have a sustained military. That's the dream. But anyway, um, <laughs> hopefully we'll uh, be able to defend ourselves when the next attack comes along. Yeah, it's coming along nicely. Anyway, uh, let me know. I, just, I found a problem with one of the mods... That I spoke about earlier is the animal spawning mod. It shares the same keys as getting all the overlays and stuff. So if I press F3 to clear the uh, the overlays from the people, <laughs> wolf spawns. If I press F4 to clear the overlays from the deposits, a bear spawns, <laughs> and then I put them back another bear spawns. <laughs> so I'm sure and hope that the mod maker one day will fix that slight issue. Look at the trader, my. Goodness, that's exotic. That is, that has changed the entire skyline of this settlement. Look at this beast of a structure, a beauty of an engineering masterpiece. You move, please. Thank you. That is phenomenal, and it'll be interesting to see next year and next episode what kind of traders we get now. Um, but that's that's brilliant. Very nice. Four new villagers born. We need to increase our housing some more. We are almost at 250 population, marching ever closer to that 300 line where we're just going to run out of food everywhere. And um, we're just going to we're going to start getting some gold soon as well, which is fantastic. Super news! There we go. The walls are now coming up nicely. Excellent stuff. Oh my god, it's all starting to come together. As as long as we can keep on top of the stone situation, <laughs> that's the real kicker. And there are some big ass rocks still out here on the map, so. You know, maybe we'll be okay. Eight people? Yeah. I can take six. i tell you what, we'll take them and I'll build some new houses. Build some new houses. We're going to have a housing, housing shortage. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode of Ah, this Frontier. Everything is, is working out after that horrible, horrible raid that we had. It's all coming along nicely. We have cheese, we have beer, we have bread. We have a building on fire, but we'll just rush over that and there's no problem. Uh, we have a trade post that looks like just fantastic. The city is really starting to come alive in this district especially right now, isn't it? Right in the center here. This is where it's all happening. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.